That idiot. He questions me. I think he deserves the worst that could come. And after we try to cover up the mess that he's made, he almost forgot what he really is. And yeah, right, like I'll suck up to him. He has to. He has to be grateful to me throughout his whole life. Okay, Munir. Allah knows what he said to the girl. We cannot predict what that jerk's gonna do next. Meltdown. Hello, dear. This is a piece of the same set. Oh, great. So, Thank Liam, you. did you tell your father about dinner? <sighs> I forgot it. Come on, tell him now. He forgot, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Father, Meltem will cook for us this evening. You too, Munir. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. They accepted. Ah, oh, that's great. Did you talk to your father? He arrived early this morning. My mother will be here in the afternoon. All right. Is it a private dinner? Meltem. I think you'd better not tell this to my aunt. But why? Oh, these need to be washed first. Thank you. Did you tell her? Uh-huh. Sorry, she knows. I have to thank Parahan and Hilmiye who are helping me open up the presents now. We'll all be in our house this evening. Erdogan will be too. Even Erdogan? I'm not gonna go. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Munir. Okay, all right, all right. I guess Munir has something serious to do. No, he's coming. I'll have to let you know later. Wait, shouldn't I have told him? No, he just asked me if it'll be a private dinner or not. Fine, but don't be late. Okay. And say hi for me. Okay, bye. A ask her if Gaye called her, uh, would you? Meltem, did you talk to Gaye today? Well, I called to invite her, but she'll be back in Milan tomorrow. She's in a rush for preparation, so she can't make it. I got it, babe. I'll see you. What is it? She's not coming. She's back in Milan tomorrow. <sighs> She's running away. It's obvious she didn't say anything to Meltem. But why did she invite Erdogan? How could she know? We decided that the first dinner at home would be the whole family. Something bad could happen with Tehran or there, so I might not go, you know? He has to think that way. Besides, even if he comes, he's not so stupid to reveal the conflicts we have between us. I bet that he won't come. I think he won't miss it. He'll be there even before all of us. You'll see. <laughs> Here, take these. Bring me the papers I need to sign. I want it all complete. By the way, do the employees in the finance department know that I'll be away from the office next week? I told them, sir. What is it, Ismail? Sir, it's something serious. Uh, okay, Zara, come. What is it? I'll just be in my office. Mr. Munir, I'd like to inform you about this. Mustafa, he is injured. What? Is it an accident? I don't know for sure, but I guess it's not. He didn't come to work this morning, so I called him and I needed to ask him something. His father answered my call, but didn't say what happened. I think that is very serious. How do you know? Because whenever I asked something, his father replied with pretty vague answers. And that's all, and that's it. What could it be? Munir, give him a call. I just called him. His father answered the phone. Mustafa was in intensive care. He underwent surgery, too. It's serious. Oh, Allah. I'd better go and check okay. on it. Okay. Good, Ismail. Thanks. Should I go? No need for it. Your uncle can go and report back. Uh, call me when you're there. We'd better pay for his medical bills as well. We'll be seen as compassionate. Okay. Someone will be so happy. Great job you did with him, stuff. Any update on his condition for me? All right. Uncle, have you heard the news? We did. And we are so sad. Will he survive? I hope so.